Good morning, and thank you for inviting me to share my thoughts about this next Advent carol, Let All Mortal Flesh Keep Silence. This particular carol has always seemed ageless and primal to me. It's minor mode, sung in perfect unison, and evoking the chanting of monks and clerics of centuries gone by. And while the melody Picardy is indeed old, it's 17th century French, a medieval folk song, the words are by far older and are common to Jewish and Muslim, as well as Christian traditions. They come to us from Habakkuk, a Hebrew prophet who lived in the 7th century BC. From chapter 2, verse 20, let all the earth keep silence before him. About 900 years later, the original text of the carol, which was composed in Greek for use as a cherubic hymn, and in the Byzantine tradition, this was the hymn where the processional was coming into the church. Uh, it dated back to uh, 275 AD, perhaps even earlier. And about a millennium later, in 1906, British composer Ralph Vaughan Williams set a translation of this Greek poem uh, to music, to the Picardy, the 17th century medieval tune. And that has led to the timeless carol that so many of us have embraced thereafter. Uh, this carol reminds me to quiet the more frenzied and earthly-minded preparation for Christmas, and instead to ponder the Lord of Lords in human vesture, born as a tiny child to Mary on a bleak midwinter night. Alleluia, 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 Lord most high.